I have been looking at the Federal Bureau of Investigation statistics for crime throughout the United States for the year 2009. Um, obviously, the year 2010 data won't be available at least until January, perhaps even February. So I figured I wanted to take that uh, crime data and I wanted to compare it to the number of atheists per state. I can't find any updated information for how many atheists by percentage per state there are since the 2001 uh, survey, the American Identification, Religious Identification Survey of 2001, which means any comparison that I make between crime in a state and the number of atheists in a state are not significant. Um, the data is, one data series is eight years out of date and any comparisons that are made will not be statistically significant because the data is apples and oranges um, by eight years. For all we know, the atheist in particular states has changed percentage-wise. I must start out by pointing out that the number of atheists, that includes agnostics and all that say none to the survey, is approximately 14.2%. That is as of year 2001. The state that has the least number of atheists is North Dakota, and the state with the most number of atheists, a whopping 25%, was Washington. The state with the least amount of crime, according to the Federal Bureau of Investigation, is South Dakota at 3,810 crimes per 100,000 citizens. The state, or the district, with the greatest number of crime is the District of Columbia, with a whopping 12,183 crimes per 100,000 citizens. Good fucking gods! If you plan on going to the District of Columbia, don't. If you're planning on leaving the District of Columbia, don't. We don't want you out here. Before plotting the actual data, I made a noise baseline by taking the data and sorting it by the state two-letter code. I then plotted a trend line for the percentage of atheists in each state. This is randomly chaotic, and it gives us the noise baseline with a R-square of 0 0.0056. Even though it is positive here, it could also be negative 0 0.0056. Any trend line that I plot with the actual data that is greater than that or lesser than that might have some significance. If a trend for a particular crime falls well within this margin, then it means absolutely nothing. Note this chart, as all the other ones that follow will, there are two y-axes. On the left, there's the y-axis that shows the number of crimes per 100,000 citizens per state. The number on the left shows the percentage of atheists per state. The purple line shows the data that has been sorted, in this case violent crime, from the lowest state to the highest state. And you see down there the lowest state is a little bit more than 100 crimes, violent crimes, per 100,000. And then it goes to 700 crimes per 100,000, and then it leaps up there to 1,300 crimes per thousand for violent crimes because that's the District of Columbia getting in there. This graph also shows linear regression trend line that is on the Atheist Per State series. So what this is showing us is as the number of violent crimes decrease, the number of atheists increase. Or to put it another way, the more states have um, atheists in them percentage-wise, the less violent crime that state has. This is not statistically significant, as I mentioned. Meta most foul. And once again, we see as the percentage of atheists increase in a state, the murder rate decreases. 
And you can see the District of Columbia there in the end. The murder rate skyrockets thanks to the people left living in the District of Columbia. Good fucking gods. And here we see that the trend line for rape is almost identical to our noise line. So there is absolutely no difference between theist and non-theist committing rape. Once again, for robbery, the trend line is negative. Of course, it is very close to the noise line, so this doesn't mean anything statistically significantly. Also, of course, there's an eight-year gap between data sets. Aggravated assault, as the percentage of atheists increase in a state, aggravated assault decreases. Once again, this is not statistically significant. Property crime follows suit. The trend is negative. The more atheist a state has, the less property crime it has. Not statistically significant, however. And once again, we see that atheists tend to not burgle rise as theists do. I guess atheists just don't look as good in black ski masks. Larceny and theft, same thing. Of course, as usual, it is not statistically significant. It falls well within the noise level that I showed earlier. This is the graph that just cracks me up. I guess atheists hate walking more than theists hate walking. Atheists tend to want to steal your motor vehicle more than theists do. Of course, the trend line is really close to the random noise level, so it's not statistically significant. It does not actually mean anything, but it's still funny. And finally, the chart for the whole tamale, the whole enchilada, all the crimes together. Once again, we see as a state's percentage of atheists increase, total crime decreases. And of course, once again, it is really close to the noise level, so it is also statistically insignificant. My first conclusion is we can't rely on the data, we can't add any level of confidence to the data or the trend lines without first having the atheist data updated to at least year 2009. Uh, before we can do that, we could say there is zero confidence that the trends that I just showed mean anything. The second conclusion we can say is that even though we cannot say that there is a level of confidence that as level or the percentage of atheists in a state increases, crime decreases. We can't say that. We don't have any confidence in the data that we can say that. We can use this data to refute the assertion that as the number of atheists increase, crime increases. The data shows it does not. We can refute that statement, but we can't affirm the positives. I mean, if you want to lower crime, import more atheists, and that will lower crime. We can't say that. The data it was not statistically significant, and it may not be even when the atheist data is updated, which it might be updated in a year or so. Anyhow, one big mental masturbation. <laughs>